Hello everybody and welcome to my 33rd VBA 2010 tutorial and this tutorial is going to show you how to return values with a function. So let's get started. Uh, the, f the function I'm going to do is it's going to be a function that will calculate the, the volume of a cone, a cylindrical cone, with, with giving it the values of its radius and its height. So uh, let's start writing, so sub uh, cone volume I'm going to call it and then we want to pass it some variables, I'm going to put bival and then I'm going to put the radius as a double and then I'm going to put the height as a double and I'm going to close that off and then finally something we've never done on this line before because I want this uh, and I want it to be a function because I want this function to return a value we just need to declare what value that function is going to return as well so I'm going to put that as double at the end so that's just saying okay my function is going to return a value when we call it and that value is going to be in in the form of a double let's press enter and then we've got the structure of our function set up and then we just need to put in our formula for the um, for the for the cone so I've got this down here so this is our formula so it's pi r squared times h divided by 3 and so it's just the radius of the, the cylinder at the bottom times the height times pi and then divided by 3 and that gives you the the volume of a cone and then we just need to put this into a more VBA friendly format so let's just put so let's just give ourselves a variable first of all to put it all in so dim and uh, volume as double and then let's set volume equals and then we want the value of pi so to do this we can put worksheet function dot pi and that's just built into VBA that something you could, that you can use uh, and it will just give you the value of pi to as many decimal places as, as it can I think it's 15 and then times by and then we want radius to the power of 2 times by height and then divided by 3 and then if, if you didn't know I don't know if I actually taught doing powers but to do a power you just put the little up sign the same as you would on um, kind of if you don't have the ability to put it on there quite often put it in word and stuff if if you're gonna be printing it out but yeah so little up sign it should be above the six on your keyboard if you're struggling to find it uh, and then the number of uh, powers you want to go to and uh, in this case two so that then gives us the volume of our cone in this variable here and then all we need to do is just tell that function that we want to give that volume back as the value so to do this you just take the name of the function and you set it equal to whatever you want it to equal so let's put it equal to our volume and that's it so now when we call this function we give it the radius and we give it the height of the cone and then it's going to return the volume so down here let's just do this so sub and then give me numbers so then let's just give it some values so let's say dim radius as double radius equals input box please enter the radius of the cone and then we want to dim the height as a double then height equals 
input box. Please enter the height of the cone. And then we just want to call our function. So I'm going to message box it out. So uh, all you need to do is when you want the value, just put, you don't need to use call, just put the name of the function and then put the open brackets, put in your parameters that you've given it. So we would just want to give it radius and height. And then that's it. So that's just going to message box out the cone volume. Let's just put a little bit of text first. So the volume of your cone is let's just put a little bit like that and an ampersands. So that's just gonna message box out the the uh the volume there. So let's play this now as an example. So play and please enter the radius of the cone. So let's say it's three and then the height of the cone is five and then the volume of your cone is forty seven point one two three eight eight and blah 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 blah. So that is how you would use a function to return a value and you can use any of the other you can return any other variable uh, variable type so you can return uh, boolean so just true or false you can return string so you could get it to return a message um, and basically anything any variable type you can think of you can put in there as the the return value uh, so that's it for this tutorial. Thanks for listening, and I hope to catch you in the next tutorial.